It was here in this car park outside Thameside Hospital that baby Richie was born in November. While the scene was calm today, it was a lot more dramatic that night. Panic, really. That, that's, that's about a long and short of it, really. Um, yeah, managed to get here, ran in, terrified, um, and then literally within about five minutes it was over. So, Just tell us how you felt when everything had settled down. You were holding Richie, he was obviously <laughs> been crying, you knew. Total shock, actually shock. Even though it was two days late, I didn't expect it to all happen so quickly. I'm just shocked. Emergency nurse practitioner Joanne McMahon was on shift that night. She was the first person to see Mum Nicole and told us the dramatic scene that greeted her. I heard the receptionist shouting for help, so opened the door and went out into the waiting room. The receptionist said there's a lady giving birth in a car outside, um, and at which point I went outside and saw um, Dad was stood at the side of the car um, in a state of panic, as you would be. Um, so I went to the car and opened the door of the car and mum was lay across the front seat of the car um, the baby's head was already there so literally I just tried to keep mum as calm as possible talk to mum um, by which point the rest of the team had arrived um, Hyder, Koresh, the consultant and some other members of the nursing team had come running out to help the umbilical cord was wrapped around baby's neck um, twice I wasn't able to um, release it so I just helped to support the head and Hyder unwrapped the umbilical cord and assisted mum to deliver the baby. Today parents Alex and Nicole and their daughter Yasmin met the team who delivered Richie for the first time since that night. Dr Hyder Qureshi was waiting with a surprise. He's beautiful, isn't he? Oh, look at this. This is for you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's great. You are gorgeous. I was on call in the night and I was in the uh, recess area. Just dealt with a very sick patient, and as, as I turned around, one of the nurses came running in from the outside and they said, Oh, we've got a car pulled up with a with a mother with a baby stuck and cord around it, but I don't know what to do. And I said, all right, let's go have a look. So so we just ran outside with the nurse and the other, you know, some auxiliaries and some porters came running in to see what, what's happened. And when we saw baby being delivered and had some uh, awkward situation at the time where it was, you know, quite dangerous for the baby as well as the mother. Well, we managed well. And, and uh, little Rachie cried. He was delivered well. And we brought him in. It was still raining and it was snowing as well. And uh, everything is great after that. Yeah. Oh, so you said it's a serious situation when yes. you got to the car. The cord was wrapped round twice, which is something yes, right. Yeah, very it's very regular. rare to have it twice around. And secondly, you don't have uh, minutes to decide or call for help. <laughs> so, so it's a very tricky situation. So you have to do a very within seconds. You have to make a decision, relieve the cord, deliver the baby. Because I think you were very tired at the time. There was no contractions. So we assist in delivery and then, uh, and then the baby was not crying initially. So then we had to lift him up, so I had to slap him a couple of times, <laughs> make him cry, I'm sorry. Uh, and then he's fine, yeah, it's all good. So what's it like to see Richie now happy and I'm healthy and extremely his happy. I'm so happy, I'll remember him throughout my life.